What's good, y'all? It's been a fucking minute, but I'm back. There's a fly right there. Fucking die. Fuck Popeyes. Let me just start it off. Let me just start it. Put it in the right direction. Fuck Popeyes. I don't think I've actually ate at Popeyes in probably over a year now. Might be more than that. I don't, I don't really fuck with Popeyes, and uh, I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm not just a hater of fucking Popeyes. I'm not just envious that Popeyes is whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I have reason to be fucking mad. Um, the reason I'm mad is I found out doing a research paper. This is a research paper. All of the facts that I will be telling y'all, I have researched. It was a, a school assignment. Okay, so this is not coming out of my ass. It's not anything not factual. These are facts. Facts. I found the, um, y'all probably can't see, but this is basically the paper I wrote. I had wrote it back in uh, September of 2021, so it's about a couple months. I don't even know the math on that. It hasn't been a year yet, but uh, in September I had wrote this paper, and basically what the paper was about was the effects of race-driven advertisements. So you might be wondering, like, what does Popeyes have to do with race-driven advertisements? Well. I'm gonna tell you. This paper was titled Effects of Race Driven Advertisements. One of the main effects of race driven advertisements, advertisements, advertisements is specifically with Popeyes is the unhealthiness of black and brown lower income families and people. Um, a lot of fast food places, not just Popeyes, target people that just don't have it uh, the same way other people have it. Like, you know, unfortunately, like minorities, like uh, black people, brown people, Mexican people, uh, you know, just ethnic people that aren't uh, white passing or fast food chains take advantage of these groups of people because they, they like, kind of shove it like y'all don't even really pay attention to this stuff i didn't even pay attention to how much we get advertisements thrown down our throats until like i took this class and learned a lot about how advertisements and media target specific groups and, like they're not just promoting something just to promote it they have a target audience with popeyes i say that they're targeting african-american people specifically because first of all popeyes is a southern uh soul food chain which it's really not if y'all have ever had roscoe's or like my mom Mom's cooking a black mom's cooking Popeyes is not soul food so let me just clarify that but they're trying to imitate that because they're trying to target you see what I'm saying black african-american families and people do you see what I'm saying like I'm gonna get deeper into it but I just hope y'all get the gist of it I had said that the effects are yes african-americans are becoming unhealthier and unhealthier why because we're getting targeted and told to be cons we're consumers right so so these advertisements that you see that you think are harmless are not harmless. When you turn on the TV, right, uh, you see ads for McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Burger King, Popeyes, back to back. Like, damn. And then you seeing that is going to make you more inclined to go out and buy those things because you literally have seen Popeyes come up on your TV four times in a day. Like, stuff like that. Or you go out, you're driving billboards here, billboards there, billboards there. Like, that's all, it's all the game plan, y'all. Like, why don't we see billboards for things that are actually gonna better everyone and, and actually uh, promote like sustainable health and uh, you know what I mean? Just like beneficial things, but all we get fed is just unhealthy, toxic things. Like, I'm not, right, I'm not even here trying to say that fried chicken is necessarily the bad thing that's making it unhealthy. It's, it's the motive behind it, the motive behind it. In my paper, I said, the problem is not inherently Popeyes. The problem is the fact that Popeyes is taking advantage of black consumers. Like I said, we're all consumers. They're taking advantage of black consumers and they're making extremely large amounts of money off of us, period. Um, and I'm gonna get into it because I'm gonna just say it right here. The owner of Popeyes is not even black. The owner of Popeyes is white. Why are you selling black people? Why are you promoting and shoving soul food down black people's throats when you ain't even, ain't no soul in your body. You feel me? Like, that don't even make no sense. That don't even make no sense. And it's not even like they serving good soul food. That shit is fit. Hey, that shit is filled with sodium fat. Like, that shit is way worse than anything my mom will fucking make in a kitchen type shit. The owner of Popeyes is not black at all. So, if just in case y'all y'all want to go to Popeyes and all that, don't. You should go to Roscoe's, uh, other black-owned businesses if you really want to go for soul food. Now, if you like Popeyes just because it's good, then, you know, do you and shit. But if you really care about just respect, boundaries, and the overall well-being of 
mankind and humanity, then I would not go to Popeyes. It's not even that fucking good to be lining up like that. It's really not. I haven't went there in damn near two years, and I'm not even tripping. I'm not tripping. I literally, if I'm on some fried chicken, I'll make that shit myself. My mom will make that shit for me. I could go to Roscoe's. I can go to Winco. If y'all ain't have Winco fried chicken, that shit is gas. But basically, what I'm trying to say is like the food is is not good enough to cover up the terrible beginnings. Now, you may be asking me, so what's the beginning of Popeyes? I'm gonna get to that. So the main reason, the main reason that Popeyes was created, y'all, was not to, you know, pass around soul and you know, no, like it wasn't at that at all. It was literally to just take advantage of black people. And I'm gonna tell y'all something that you probably didn't know. I'm gonna read this off because this is actually important. Like this is the the meat, the meat and potatoes of, of my whole argument here. So Popeyes saw an opening after the harsh segregation. Segregation. Popeye saw an opening after the harsh segregation and bans that were lifted which have not which now allow black people to seek out restaurant options like their white counterparts had been doing. Popeye's was founded in 1972 so around that time uh, there weren't many fast food options for uh, black people to to go to or there might have been but not to where they'll feel at home after segregation and all this type of stuff right um this is just how it is back then that's just how it was like white people or fair skinned people were allowed to you know go out and dine at wherever they chose to right but black people didn't really have that accessibility and those options to really choose places like there was not just you know 30 places that black people could walk into and 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 go have a good time a good time like yes we might have been able to walk into that establishment but to actually be served and treated with respect and dignity i don't think that was really that uh prominent in that time period that also led to the susceptibility and the vulnerability that led a lot of these uh, starters of these big chains and fast food industries to target African-American people, right? Because they see, oh yeah, look, the black community, they don't really have that many places to eat. Let's make one and let's take their culture and sell it to them. You know what I'm saying? That's essentially what Popeye is and that's why I have so much just disgust and uneasiness when I think of how it came up. How are you going to take black people's culture right flip that shit around and sell it back to them you feel me and have y'all noticed the spokesperson on all the Popeyes commercials is black I love the flavors that come out of here yet the owner his name is Al Copeland you can look that shit up he's white so even the fact that they chose to have a black spokeswoman shows you just exactly who they had who they had in mind to target do you feel what I'm saying? Like if it wasn't about race, if it wasn't if it wasn't that deep, right? Why why couldn't the spokeswoman be white? You see what I'm saying? Cuz if she was white or or he was white, they were white, then it would be targeted to white audiences. Popeyes is not trying to sell their chicken to white people. <laughs> They're not. Like, white people do eat that shit, yeah, but that is not the targeted audience. The targeted audience is black people. I keep drilling this into y'all's head cuz like y'all got to like wake up i hope that this video helps y'all like look at media and advertisements differently now like they all have a motive behind them and a target audience if y'all also want to do some research on this um the article where i got a lot of facts um about this is um uh, it's an article titled why popeyes markets its chicken sandwich to african americans it was written by marcia chaitlin uh, i'll link it in the description honestly just because i know people don't feel like typing and all that you guys can go give that a read it's very very informational it literally Ever since I read that, I haven't been to Popeyes, so yeah. Another reason, like the black spokeswoman, they do that so that black people can see the black spokeswoman, right? And kind of uh, start to, what's the word? Start to have faith in Popeyes, start to trust them more. It's more reliable. Like as a black person, if I see a black person doing something, I'm gonna be more inclined to do it. So if, if you're watching a commercial, right? And you see a black spokeswoman telling you to come eat this damn chicken, it's gonna make you more you know, not so skeptical to go eat that damn chicken. It's all a plot. Popeyes is not for the people, bro. They literally just took our fucking culture, sold it back to us, and now are making millions and billions and I don't even fucking know how many dollars off us, bro. And it's like, it's not, it's not just Popeyes for real. McDonald's is like the number one like chain that does this shit. And it's just so like fucked up, bro. Cause like, you know, a lot of like people, you feel me? Like, 
that grow up regular they didn't have a lot of like you know bucks to be going and doing all or like it's not even the fact of money too it's also the fact of being in a food desert which is where you go outside you drive around for 10 minutes and you don't see no type of farmer's market you don't see no type of trader droves no no like you know what i'm saying like a good store with quality products type shit all my life where i've lived i've seen you know i'll go out drive uh or have my mom drive parents drive i'm just looking around all i see is mcdonald's billboards mcdonald's 10 mcdonald's within five minutes of driving around the neighborhood uh jack in the boxes fast food chains fast food chains fast food chains no grocery stores with actual quality shit in sight like none like none you have to drive at least 20 minutes out 25 to hit a trader joe's you got to drive 25 minutes to hit a sprouts like you feel what i'm saying no farmers markets there's no community garden like nothing like that bro like all these things are really contributing to just our health as a society like diminishing it's not even just black people that are being affected it's also like it's everyone bro like fuck taco bell because how the fuck are you gonna take mexican culture flip that shit around and try to sell it back to like you can't like you you can do that shit but it's just so like i don't know like where 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 are we gonna draw the line and i i really want to make this video to wake people up for real because like we as a society need to just educate ourselves because popeyes and mcdonald's are not gonna tell us hey maybe you shouldn't be eating this like maybe you shouldn't spend your money here like they want you to do that because you're a target audience you feel what i'm saying and because of the high like everything content in these type of foods bro you're gonna get addicted to that shit and it's easy all you gotta do is pull up right in your car and you gotta get out the car and get that shit like nah bro like at this fucking point in my life i don't eat at fast food spots like if i want something i'm not saying that oh i'm i just eat fucking spinach and like like nah bro but i've come to a point where like i'm just doing things myself if i want some chicken I'm gonna make my chicken. Now, I'm not saying you gotta be a chef, but just be very mindful of where you get your stuff from. Who prepares it, like what you're putting in your body, you feel me? Like, I'm not saying you gotta eat fucking chicken, rice, and broccoli every fucking day. Just be more mindful, you feel me? Like, I still eat all the shit. Like, I still eat all types of shit. Burgers, fries, all that type of shit. Fried chicken, uh, you name it. But it's just like, if I want a burger, I'm gonna make myself a burger. Like, I know exactly what went into it. Like, and it tastes dank as fuck. Like, it hits even more than McDonald's could ever make it hit. The only place I low-key will go to is, like, In-N-Out. Because, like, In-N-Out, In-N-Out just, they got a little special. They, they do a little. We just got to be mindful as a society. The more that you're aware about about everything around you, the better of a consumer you you can be. Because we are consumers. When you go to the grocery store, you're a consumer. Because you you are consuming everything. You feel what I'm saying? You walk into a store and you're just seeing products because you're a consumer. Which is fine. Like, we're consumers, but we should also be creators. I just want to also press that a lot because uh, in a society like this, it's just so easy to be a consumer you know you're always going out buying stuff buying stuff but we're not creating anything and i think that a lot of the magic and like you know tapping into who you are and finding out what you like and all this stuff it comes when you create uh create whatever whatever your your thing is i love to create food i love to create video i love to create music i love to create my body i love to create everything um that's really what i'm trying to press and push is just like we got to start being our own creators and not just being consumers that are blind the rest of my essay i was basically just going over how like you know a lot of the health conditions that specifically the african-american community are experiencing um just minorities are experiencing it's literally due to eating fast food and all this shit like y'all think that shit don't cause cancer bro why the fuck the mcdonald's warning on the door talk about uh products served here may cause cancer bitch what the fuck cancer i'm gonna end this off with reading the last paragraph i'm gonna read it because i'm i can just keep going all over the place but i just want to end this on a thought out uh structured note so i said fast food chains like popeyes need to reevaluate their purpose and direct their advertisements that they relentlessly aim towards african americans elsewhere period popeyes is doing so well because of black people that chicken sandwich went viral because of black twitter because of black people Popeyes has been bussing because of black people. If we stop eating at fucking Popeyes, that shit will fall. You feel me? Because if y'all, like, I'm talking to you, whoever the fuck is, is in charge of Popeyes right now, I don't know if the original owner is still alive, whatever. Whoever is in that damn office, the CEO that be plotting shit and marketing that shit to my community, you need to redirect that shit to, like, I don't need, not even redirect it because I don't want you to target any other minorities or any other people. Honestly, how about you just throw the whole business away like th like throw it away throw it away i don't even think that you could revamp it because how when you start something uh 
with with stealing culture and trying to throw it back at a culture the whole business is already tainted you're making money but you're making people sick you're feeding people bullshit so fuck you fuck popeyes y'all should just throw that shit the fuck away period or y'all can make me the owner and i'll like actually do my thing and make it better but if not then fuck popeyes y'all need to just throw that whole bitch away period i'm gonna make more videos about this because there's just a lot that we are blind to when it comes to nutrition and just being healthy like in all and i think it needs to be covered um i don't see anyone else doing it so i'm gonna do that shit literally like bro in all my years of school i don't think i've ever uh been taught about what i'm eating like the calories in it the fats sugar and none of that shit like i've never like you know you kind of get you kind of brush over it in like health class but ain't nobody really telling you how to eat on a realistic basis like they'd be like eat your grains and your veggies like bitch like can you get more descriptive it's just not realistic you feel me you can't so you can't tell someone to get healthy and make better choices and then not tell them how oh my god i forgot to mention this i'm gonna mention it bro because popeyes is getting slandered in this video when the whole chicken sandwich craze was you know y'all remember that y'all remember that popeyes literally tweeted some black slang hey remember remember they're not black at all the team at popeyes is not black all right and they tweeted on their Twitter during the chicken uh, sandwich craze and said, come through in your Sunday best to invite people to come and pick up the chicken sandwich. Come through in your Sunday best. Come through in your Sunday best. If you know, if you are black, you know that Sunday best is a term that black people use to say that you finna come fly as fuck. Like Sunday best meaning like, when black people come to church on Sunday, they come in, they Sunday best, like they come and fly as fuck. So for Popeyes to say that, to target like black people, bro, like only black people will know what the fuck that Sunday best is and they're gonna tweet that. So who, like who else are you targeting? Who else? It's literally black people, bro. Like, I, like if y'all really dig and look at Popeyes and their history, it's just targeting black people. In the Popeyes commercial, there's a choir and they're all black. That's black people shit. Like black people in churches, bro. We do that choir shit. Like the whole, you know, you know what I'm saying. And Popeye's gonna do it. Why? Cause they're targeting black people, bro. It's fucking, yeah, man. These fast food chains, they don't give a fuck about us. Like they fucking don't. They really fucking don't. Cause they make money off of us. So when we get sick and we have high blood pressure, diabetes, all these, all these different ailments because of the shit that we put in our bodies. Guess who makes money off of us when we need to get pills and surgeries? The fucking pharmaceutical industry, uh, big pharma, all that type of shit. They make money off of us. This shit is not a joke, bro. I hope I don't just seem like some fucking health and fitness fools to y'all, but like, you feel me? We should all be health and fitness fools, bro. Like, literally, I did. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. I used to be a fast food ass motherfucker, bro. Like, I used to be down the fuck bad. Like, I've lost a lot of weight. Not even just losing weight, but just getting my body composition to a healthier spot bro like just the food that i put into my body because it really isn't even about weight for real because you could be like in an ideal weight but eat like shit so, and you feel what i'm saying like you could look good on the outside but your inside is fucking like made up of just garbage so it really comes down to we have to know what the fuck we're putting in our bodies bro like if i could do that shit i promise y'all could do that shit bro like i literally i remember bro i was just eating fast food over and over for years bro like my whole childhood dude my fucking i used to go to a private school right and they used to serve us um for lunch every day and i'd be there five days a week so monday tuesday wednesday and thursday they would serve us fast food it would be like mcdonald's one day uh wendy's taco bell you, and you could pick whatever you want like so shit i would get like if it was mcdonald's day i would get like two double cheeseburgers and a mcchicken for lunch and this went on for like i was there for at least like eight years ten eight eight years ten years a long time right so i'm trying to tell you i've been eating fast food bro i said monday tuesday wednesday thursday because friday would be pizza day every friday was pizza day like greasy ass pizza day and milkshakes and you know my fat ass would always get the pizza and milkshake so what i'm trying to tell y'all is like bro i was on a regimen of eating like that uh the weekends is probably the only time as a kid uh, as an adolescent that i wouldn't eat fast food my mom would probably cook something or we would go out blah blah, blah right um and even after lunch during the weekday like i would sometimes get fast food after school as well so i would be eating fast food twice a day twice a day bro like y'all i'm just i'm just trying to show y'all bro like i've been there i've literally consumed fast food all my life and like i kind of just got to a point bro i think i was in high school i was like 17 bro 
and I got to a point of just being sick and tired of being sick and tired of like just eating the same garbage on repeat. And then, you know, coming from a school with that type of like rotation of food, um, I moved I moved over here to La Puente from Long Beach and like, you know, I was still on that fast food. I, I was addicted to fast food. Like I came over here and I wasn't in private school anymore, um, but I still would get fast food every day. School would end. First place I'd hit, McDonald's. I'd get me a McChicken, a Sunday, some fries, like, and then, like, my dad would come back, I'd ask him to go get me Panda Express, Wingstop, like, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, I have been there. I literally got to a point, I think I was sitting at Shakey's, bro, just eating my fucking life away. I was, I was at the fucking buffet, too. The buffet! The buffet! Like, at Shakey's, bro. And I was just eating that shit, and I was looking at my plate like, God damn, bro. Like, I have a choice. Like, I don't have to eat this. And I'm sitting here putting this shit into my body and I feel like shit, I look like shit. Or honestly, I think I was like kind of skinny to be honest, but like not in a good, good way, bro. Like I was just unhealthy. Like my body composition, I was just unhealthy. The stuff I was putting in my body was not it. So I literally decided to just do better. And I did from that day on, I've been a work in progress. Like I did not just wake up um, and start making salmon and broccoli and eating healthy and all that. Like it took... It took work and I'm still a work in progress. Like I said, I don't eat clean every day. I literally just had Chipotle pasta and not from Chipotle, like I made Chipotle pasta, like, you know, cream, Parmesan, blah, blah. I just had Chipotle pasta, fried chicken. Like I eat things, but it's all in moderation. And I'm trying to express the stuff that you make yourself, I promise you is nowhere near as bad as the stuff that you buy out there. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, bro. Like it's, it, it can't even compare. It can't, you feel me? So, yeah, y'all, um, we just gotta do better. And I truly believe like we all have the power to, it's just about education. I educated myself and now I'm able to make better choices. That's the end of the video. I am gonna get off here because this video is long as fuck, but I don't care. This is a sit down and talk with me because I'm mad. I'm mad, I'm not even mad, I'm just upset, you know? Uh, I wish things could be different, but um, I'm gonna make that difference, make that difference. Gotta educate people, educate myself, just be a better example. Um, just create awareness for a lot of things not even just fast food but just like a lot a lot of things that we're just blind to in this fast-paced uh, world and society that doesn't really care about its people um, at all so we got to care about each other that's so corny but it's re it's real shit though like you know we can't expect the government and all these big you know what I'm saying to care about us like they're more focused on money and profit um, so yeah you're not gonna get the 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 resources the information you want from them um it's getting dark as y'all could see but yeah y'all thank y'all for watching this video if you have any questions or need anything from me um please do not hesitate to reach out to me or ask me um yeah but i appreciate y'all just listening and like honestly uh if you made it this far like thank you for real for even just opening your mind and listening to what i have to say um it is a lot to think about because it kind of you have to kind of shift your whole mentality and start looking at the world differently but um like I said, it's a work in progress. Um, just little steps, just being more aware every day will lead you to a great, great, great end. Like, trust, bro. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Catch y'all on the next one.